okay guys uh, so you might have seen in this new version of freecad a new option called variable set which is at the top here like it's in various workbenches like how do we basically utilize that uh, like currently if I just quickly show you the action of it so you can see I have just created a variable set called dimensions so this basically allows us to play with the model parametrically without changing any of the sketches or any of the geometries again and again and going directly into them you need not to go anywhere simply just create a variable set separately here and all these dimensions are linked to those <coughs> constraints of your sketches we'll see that how but just to show you the action item basically so you can see here we had dimensions so base length let's say is uh, one feet right rotation can be let's say 0 degrees base width can be let's say 5 feet height can be let's say 5 feet top length uh, could be 4 feet and top width could be let's say 6 feet so this is how you can see you can easily play around with your model like the model can go up to endless complexity this is just an example model just to show you the variable set functioning at your ease right you can see the rotation here if I just change it to 10 degrees you can see how it's basically moving let's make it somewhere 35 degree so that's how you can see so all these constraints are set up in the model it's just that now we are playing here parametrically with the model so it basically saves time and to avoid any error by changing the model again and again so how this basically happens okay I'll just quickly show you so let's create a new model <coughs> new file basically and uh, let's say uh, we simply create a new sketch here in the XY plane and uh, let's say we have something as a rectangle right inside this we can place a circle we can move it somewhere here <coughs> right this basically helps now let's say uh, we have length and width of rectangle and we have the radius or diameter of the circle that we want to give here but we will try avoid to give that here basically what we can do is basically can constraint uh, this sketch uh, symmetrically but we are not giving any dimensions here so far so just be with me here so you can see this is symmetrical constraint on length and width is pending and for this circle <coughs> uh, we can make it symmetrically constraint also or let's say if you don't want to uh, if in case you want to keep it somewhere at the fixed position and only want to change the diameter so in that case what I'll do is uh, we can place it somewhere here we'll make a coincident constraint here right and then I can simply just uh, uh, keep the height <coughs> from the center the distance from center basically and this I can keep as one inches this is something which will keep as fixed and will not change right now what constraints do we have length and width of a rectangle and we have the diameter of the circle that we have in between right I will quickly exit the sketch <coughs> now let's say we can extrude this sketch also just for better beautification uh, so let's say we give the height as let's say 2 inches right and we click apply cool so now we have <coughs> a solid body with us right uh, I click it two times okay I can delete one so this is a solid body that we have in hand so if you remember there is one more constraint that we add is that is added now which is the height of this extrude right so we won't go anywhere uh, 
so far yet let's quickly uh, create the variable set right so you have this option here uh, with two curly brackets simply click here create a variable set right uh, you can give the name of the property so let's say we can start with a rectangle if you remember right so you can give as uh, length right then we have group which you can keep it as base or you can rename it uh, there's something not very essential here for time being then we have the type of the property right so length is anyways is a length type property so freecad api has basically given you here all types of property here so you can simply search here uh, property with the name of length right you can give some value here let's say uh, we are giving the value of six inches right and we click, click OK so you can see here this variable set is created and we have the property of length here we can change the label of this let's say we save it say that dimensions simply right and now we'll start adding new dimensions here so we have length of the rectangle let's say another property is width group is base this is also a length property let's say this is five inches simply click on this add another property otherwise we'll have to click again and again so i'll click simply ok two properties are added on the left hand side you can see now if you remember we have the thickness or the height <coughs> of this uh, rectangle of the body that we have so we can simply say thickness that sounds more better right this you can give around let's say 1.5 inches we click ok and then finally we have the uh, diameter of the circle or the, of the hole basically so this we can say dia right and this is also a length property so this you can give around 0.5 inches correct and click OK so all these dimensions that we need to basically control our body or the object are there in hand with us right now what we need to do is we simply need to map these properties once throughout the model and then you can simply play around with it so let's say <coughs> the first thing is uh, we go to rectangle this was a sketch basically that we had if you remember right so what we'll do is we'll click on this uh, length and we'll try to give it a dimension of horizontal uh, so here <coughs> you can see we can give manual dimensions here but we'll use this option which is the fx which is used to give the expression so here if in case you don't remember the dimensions uh, basically you can quickly say show variable set this will basically show you the her document name is unnamed one so you can see dimensions and base so and so your properties are there the name of dimensions you can create new variable here also right but this is something just for memorable sake so you can simply write here dimensions right and then you can say length right uh, we can hide this variable set and then we can click say ok you can say six inches value has been fetched from the dimensions similarly we will set the width so this is with the vertical distance again the expression so now you remember that this was something for dimensions so we click the width here this is automatically fetching basically we click ok the five inches value is being fetched and then this is also you can see read only value here we can click, click ok <coughs> the last property for this sketch was the diameter of this circle right guys so this you can say click on this and then uh, you have an option here which says constraint diameter right similarly go to expressions dimensions and then we click on dia cool so half inches value is fetched we click ok right so this sketch is fully constrained and it has got the values from dimensions we exit the sketch right now the last thing that we left with is the thickness 
so for that we go to extrude the object that we created and here you can see the length forwarded this one and here also you click on expression and here you click dimensions and then the thickness cool which is one and a half inches so now all of these properties values are attached to your object now what you can do is you simply need to plug and play go to dimensions variable set and from here let's say dia you can make it to one inch so you can see changes are being done length you can change it to let's say seven inches thickness you can change you can see thickness is this much so let's say we reduce thickness to 0.5 you can see this is reduced and then width of this object you can make it to uh, let's say 3 inches okay let's make it better 4 inches so this is how you can see you can plug and play parametrically uh, with your objects very freely using the variable sets this is something new which you have got with FreeCAD 1.0 version right so this was it basically quite short for today I hope you guys like it so if you like it uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel let me know with your comments also what you would like to know more so till then uh, goodbye see you in the next video this was Nirvay Chauhan from Make Love Wear self-learning tutorials thanks guys